queen f5, now queen to d7, queen back to f3. Okay. Yep. Nakamura's got the bishop pair. He wants to keep the queens on the board. He's ready to break out in the center. White's pawn is coming to d4, maybe. Uh, White's queen could okay. sidestep and play f4. Okay, he does push in the center, Nakamura. He's going for broke now. I like it. Open and up the position when you get two bishops. Just a quick point. Magnus has already drawn. Artemiev was not in the mood to push. Neither was Magnus. I felt as though Magnus wanted to make a quick result. His energy was off the past four games. Now he has time to regroup. But what a chance this is now for Hikaru Nakamura. White pieces, minute up on the clock. Two bishops. Better position to get a, a full point uh, distance between himself and Magnus. That would be absolutely massive. Let's see if he manages to do it. Yeah, I think he's a huge favorite to do so. Look at the clock, Lawrence. Nearly two mm -hmm. minutes for Nakamura. 30 seconds for Fedosev. It's a beautiful position on the board for White. It's uh, just the ideal uh, position. He could never have hoped for more from any opening. And uh, yeah, Magnus drawing five games in a row. You don't win tournaments uh, by doing that. Can Nakamura capitalize? Queen C7, weird move again from Fedosev. Every turn surprising us, but not in a good way. And Nakamura, I think, a bit confused by that black queen move. And wow, tactics on the board. Knight takes wow. B5, blowing wow. open the position. Capturing Holy a pawn, cow. giving up his knight. We've got to mention, after C takes B5, after the pawn takes the knight, is Nakamura's idea E5? E5? He's calculated this so well. E5, hitting the rook, hitting the knight, winning back the material with interest. Let us say, down to almost 10 seconds now. And disaster on the board. So tactically sharp. Nakamura's in blistering form. And uh, it's simply winning. Black's knight on a6 was also attacked. There was no time to win White's bishop on d4. Nakamura's won the exchange, Lawrence. Rook for knight, if I'm counting correctly. You can just take on e5 here. I mean, you can just do do that as well. And he does. And this is resigns time, guys. Rook e5, rook e5. I mean, rook takes e5 is coming next. Queen e5. Okay, this is just, just an exchange. Brutal. Bishop takes f7 exists. Any move you want. Hikaru. Yeah. Just cruising. Maybe he wants yeah. to protect this. He takes on a5. Also makes not much to be sense. done here. But no. Asayev needs a last ditch counterattack, maybe against the f2 pawn. He needs to combine his queen and knights, but it's desperate. Too much material. Nakamura is up four points uh, in exchange and two pawns. Okay, one of the pawns drops, but that is irrelevant. Yeah, I mean, seeing that tactic, Lawrence, knight takes b5, yeah, hammer blow, yeah, yeah. in blitz, in, what did he spend, 10 seconds? That is another level. He's just a boss at blitz chess. And, um, okay, we see... Oh, lovely uh, move really by Hikaru. Beautiful tactic by Hikaru Nakamura. Look at Fedosev's indecision. He made that move with one second left. If that rook on a4 was captured by the other black knight, then queen takes e4 would have been a winning double attack. And uh, yeah, here we go. We are going to go down to the end game with Nakamura and exchange and a pawn up, even without White's B pawn, easily winning. And Fedosev flags. Nakamura takes the win. Just so smooth, so impressive. Nakamura. Flawless, 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 flawless. In fact, the whole day, he has been the most impressive player. He's never mm -hmm. really been in 